Good morning everyone, this is Jacob Holger, artist sculptor, and today we're going to make a fairy door in air dry clay. This is Amico brand uh, modeling clay and air dry clay. It's really nice to work with, I have to say. Uh, it does what you want it to do, it stays where you put it, and yeah, it's, uh, it's really good clay. We're going to be, uh, I'm going to be sculpting this on a box, and the reason why is because I like a nice square, you know, right angle kind of uh, box or block or something like that. Uh, and the reason why is I want the door to stand up on its own when I'm done. Yeah, so. So we'll get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take a uh, little bit of clay, a little balls. Now I'm going to be rolling balls and uh, noodles and that sort of thing off screen because there's not a lot of room here to uh, to work, unfortunately, on the set. Um, so I start off with a little ball and then I'm going to squeeze it between my fingers like this. And it makes like a little square box shape. And I'm going to make several of those, and that's going to be for the door frame. Okay, so I've made several blocks, all about the same size. <clears throat> and I'm going to start putting them on the box. I'm going to get... A be helpful to get the box wet a little bit so the clay sticks to it. There we go. And uh, yeah, definitely scoring is a good idea. You can score with a wet tool. You can dip your tool in the water and do it that way, or you can. Uh, Score it, wet it with a brush or a, or a spray bottle. Um, I'm using a wet tool, so. The nice thing about doing it with blocks like that <clears throat> is it looks like stone, you know, it, it, the way it goes together. It looks like stone. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The wet tool, you know, use the wet tool. So I'm going into an arch now. I'll be the top of the arch. Right. Okay, uh, so, you know, having a misting ball is helpful. So you can wet your work easily. Um, <clears throat> so next, we're going to take some clay. And we're going to make the door itself. So, uh, what I do is just press this in here and I don't want it to be too thin I like it to be maybe maybe a quarter inch thick or so
Just uh, smooth it with my thumb a little bit. Like that. And then you can take maybe a tool like this and just sort of blend it into the uh, door frame. All the way around. And then you can kind of smooth that out or, you know, press on it <clears throat> and just kind of smooth it out. And then, you know, I like my doors to be, you know, like these rustic old wood doors, you know. I like, I love stuff like that. So, uh, so I'm going to take a tool, you know, like this maybe, starting at the center. I'm going to carve in a line like that and then working outwards I'm just going to carve lines and that's going to be like for the planks of the wood door. press on that. It's okay if it's rough, you know. I like rough. Texture is a wonderful thing, man. Absolutely. Okay. So then, I'm thinking, you know, maybe a door knocker would be nice. So what I do is I roll a new or clay. Like that. And then I take, like, the back end of a paintbrush. It's really a good idea when you do this to wet it pretty good. And it kind of wet, okay. And then uh, what I do is I wrap it around the paintbrush. And blend it in. So it makes this round thing. And then I slide that off the end. And I've got a little ring. And then uh, with a wet tool, or kind of a sharp tool, I'll score it. Oops. and score where it's going to go, like right there. And press it in. And then I'll take a tiny little clay, like this. And on things that are kind of hard to score, you can just wet. Scoring is ideal if you can do it, but so just but if you can't do it, you can just wet like that. And then you can take like let's see, maybe a small paintbrush like this handle and just kind of sculpt that in. And so now we have a door knocker. And then you can also take like a new little clay. 
like this. And you can make it a U like that. And then to it bend that edge out and bend that edge out. So it's shaped like that. And I think I'm gonna try to score this so wet the tool and Four like that, and we're gonna put it right here. This is gonna be the door handle. And then what you can do is, whoops, I'm sorry, you can uh, wet. Oh, wet this here and here and make a little ball of clay and wet that and put it right here and that's like a little bolt to hold the uh, thing of the door handle for the door like that and do two of those like that I got this block here that's kind of blended into the other. I don't want that, so I'm gonna just carve that in like that. And here. And anywhere else that's happening. Now you can take like maybe a ball of clay, I'm going to roll this into a ball, like this, and I'm going to shape it to be the doorstep. And this is going to help the door once we get released from the board and it's all done and everything. We're going to, uh, that's going to help it stand up on its own. That's a little bit small, so I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Let me retake that. Well, I've got it like this now. I'm to stretch it out. want to fit there, but I want it to be uh, long enough to make it to the, both sides of the door frame. Oh, it's maybe like that, maybe a little bit longer. So you can stretch it, you can stretch it. that maybe you can see so what I do now is I I can hold this to the table like this and shape it so it's flat on one side just like that and that will go there. So now what I do is with a, with my tool call, here we go, with a flat, uh, wet tool, I'll score all this really good. And score this really good. Get it all wet now. Get lots of water on there and score the heck out of it. <laughs> okay. And then I'll press that in to the to the door frame and all that.
and then I'll take a sculpting tool and blend it to the frame. It'll be good. And I'd probably blend it to the door as well. And then you can go back and just cut this. You know, make your marks. And you can also, you know, do it this way as well. So now, when we get this release, I'm going to show you all this. We'll go into, we'll cover all this in the tutorial here. Um, you can, uh, it can stand up on its own. I mean, what's the point of having a door if it can't stand up on its own, right? Okay. So now let's start doing some embellishments. Um, and I'm thinking maybe some vines and mushrooms and what have you. So uh, I'm going to roll a vine off camera. It's easier if I do it between the palms of my hands. So I have a shape like this. And then coming up from the back of the door. You know. If you want it to be, I like them to be realistic. And then wet everything. The scoring when you're doing vines is really not very productive. So we'll do maybe a little deal like that. And press it into place. I can wet it again. And I'll roll another one. Like this here. And I'm going to wet all this. And put this right here on there. And blend it in to, so it connects with that line there. And maybe do it like that. Smooth it. Oh, it's kind of nice and stylized. So it's fun. Yeah. And then, I see, we'll do some on the other side and roll another vine. Like that. And I think uh, maybe I'll shape it. Like that, maybe? Get everything wet. There we go. Coming up from the back. And just uh, press it in there. And then once you have it on there, you can shape it a little bit. And, you know, I think I'm just going to have that one there. I like that. Now, I'm thinking... 
How about some leaves? You know, I'm going to make this door really chunky. What I call chunky. <laughs> I like, uh, I did this fairy house, uh, fairy, uh, fairy house the other day. I don't know if you saw that. It was kind of like a cross between a speed stop and a tutorial. It's a really big chunky thing, man. It has got mushrooms and leaves and uh, awesome stuff. And around back, it's got a mushroom fairy house. <laughs> it's really wild. But yeah, it was a little lot of fun. So, um, like, I like these, you know, big leaves like this. So, you just uh, form the clay and uh, kind of pinch the edges. And you make that kind of con concave, you know. <clears throat> And you can you can shape it, you know, so it's really kind of lifelike like that. And uh, let's see where we put it. Gotta find a place for it. Maybe we'll just stick it on here. I'll do it like that, maybe. Okay. So then uh, you take a sculpting tool. Make sure your tool is clean and just uh, sculpt in the line and uh, do lines like that, uh, you know, kind of randomly. And then uh, you want to try to score when you can, right? Score the back. You know, wet tool, right? And then just press it into place and maybe have it curving up like that. I mean, that's, you know, that's a really kind of a chunky, I love it. I think stuff like that is awesome. So, yeah, and uh, so uh, do it, do a few of those, you know. Make a few of those. And uh, I'm going to do a few and we'll come back. Okay, so I'm thinking. Um, so I just want to show you the soap. Now we've got this one, this will leave curving up like that. This one curving up like that. But this one goes that way. <clears throat> There's a rhyme or reason for the way I'm sculpting this, okay? I want it to be aesthetically pleasing as well as constructed well and interesting you know I want when people see it I want them to say wow that's pretty cool and uh, so what I mean by chunky it's just big chunky pieces you know but finely sculpted you know so I'm making a mushroom cap It's going to be a big mushroom. So once I get it shaped like that, I can squeeze out, like, squeeze the edge. So it's like that. And then I'm gonna make it stop, so I get a little bit of clay, roll a kind of cone shape like that. Flatten it at the top, flatten it at the bottom, smooth it out, and then with a wet tool, I'm gonna score here. And got some gunk on there. And I'm going to score the top here. And then I'm going to join the two by twisting and pressing gently. And then I'm going to blend it in. And let's see. 
where I want to put it. I think down here. So I'm going to decide where it's going to go, right? And what tool on this floor here and up here, I think is where it's been doing, probably. This floor here. Press it on there. And doing it there. And then I can take these edges. And kind of form it so it's like, you know, it's got some life to it, right? Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. And, uh, yeah. So, um... That's not blended in there. I think I'll maybe make a smaller one for the other side. So I'm kind of forming it. And then when I'm forming it, I'm rotating it. And that way you can kind of get it nice and round. And then as you get it shaped, you can kind of flare out that outer edge and uh, make a sock for it. Like that. And then you can score, button score. I think what I'm going to do, instead of scoring this time, I'm just going to wet this all. Where I want it to go. And just maybe have it like that. I'm blend that in there. And then flare out that bomb, that mushroom, giving it some life and artistic form. And then I can take a wet paintbrush and just smooth that. Yeah, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then we can, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if the uh, camera just seems to shut off, so I, I'm not really sure it was recording this, but what I'm doing here is making a snail. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm creating a shape like this. It's going to be cut like that, and then set that aside, and I'm going to <clears throat> form a shape like this, and I'm going to take my fingers like that.
trying to shape the antenna. Take your time. shell here again wet tool if you can and then we're just gonna join the snail uh, mix those together I think what I'm going to do is, uh, rather than spore this time, I'm going to wet a lot. Get it too wet. <coughs> Pardon me. And put it on there. down like that and then gently press it into the rest of the sculpture Yeah, that's fun, huh? paintbrush and just smooth that out. Mm -hmm. Everything's nice and flowing and you've got the rough door but you got all the smooth, really cool, uh, chunky detail. That's a lot of fun. It's a fun door. I was thinking maybe some flowers would be nice. What you can do is uh, roll little balls like this. Make sure the clay is wet. And uh, what you can do is take your finger like that and kind of curve the uh, pedal around it. Just to start it uh, in a curving motion. 
and then just kind of do that. And you can take another one and wrap it around that one. Looks like that. And you can do them as many petals as you want. It's best if it's the clay is fairly moist so you don't get cracking. And then you just kind of squeeze it in at the bottom. Kind of like that. And uh, take a wet sculpting tool, score it where it's going to go, and you put it here. Press it into place, and then and you can form the petals like that. You can take a small, very, just a damp brush. Not a, don't get a lot of water on it. Just a little bit. And I smooth it out. Like that. It'll be really gentle. Mm. And you could do some more of those on your own. I'm thinking I want the shell on the uh, on the uh, snail to be a little bit more going on there. So I'm gonna try to do something with that. You can use a brush to, to carve little gills like that, you know? Yeah. Come along. Now, one thing I like to do with uh, fairy doors, I always like to have a bottle sitting around somewhere on there. Well, get a ball of clay and wet that. Might as well wet my door too. I like bottles, you know. I, I just think they're nice. Like a, a, milk, a milk bottle, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so I'll roll a ball, start with a ball, and then I'll roll it into like an oblong shape like that, and then I'll take my fingers at the top of it and roll it back and forth like that. Mm 
kind of keeping the neck of bow. And you can take like a small paintbrush and put like a little irritation at the top. So. Let me see if we can find a place to put that. Think about as much in here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna press it in place. and put a, uh, get my brush <coughs> and smooth that out. So I think we're where we need to be with this and uh, pretty much with a little bit of work to do. But I think we got most of the detail kind of work done. And, uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a ball tool and go in and kind of add some swirly uh, texture to the uh, doorstep here. That's why I kind of doing that, you know, motion with the uh, tool. And then uh, we're going to spend some time smoothing. Uh, you know, wherever you want, you know, just go around and smooth it. Take your time, do a good job. You know, just a little bit of water, you know, just damp, a damp brush. Pretty much a damp brush. And do a good job of that. And uh, I'm going to wait for this to just harden a little bit. And then I'm going to show you how to release it from the board you're working on. Oh, make sure that flower's in there good. Okay, so I'm going to release this from the board. I think it might be all right now, and we'll try it. So I'm using a wire tool. You've probably seen these around. they got handles and uh, very short, uh, very thin wire, but it's usually very strong. And what I do, let me tilt this back a little bit. You can see. Uh, what I do is I hold it to the door with my thumbs then just very slowly drag it down holding it to the box
And the box is now free, as you see. And I hold it to the board that's on and drag it towards me. Slowly. I know that there's brads on this door, so uh, on this board that get in the way sometimes. So, got the door free now. So that's how you do that. Now, if you turn this around, it's still very soft, but I want you to see the back side. You can see there's all these perforations where I built up, you know, the box. And I recommend filling those in. It'll make it stronger. You can smooth it like this, like I'm doing here. And if you have any deep holes, you can take a bit of soft clay and uh, fill them in like that. go around and do that. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is like where these different elements join the door, you can blend those in and make that kind of solid there. I mean really, you know, if you're making something like this, make it to last. I mean so that your grandkids and have it, you know. I mean, really, I like to make things that are the last. And just blend that in. And then you can take your brush and smooth all that. A lot of people sign their sculptures on the back, and I admit sometimes I do that, but. Really, I try to, I try to uh, uh, sign on the face, somewhere on the face. And then uh, you know, make sure everything's shaped nicely and flowing and smooth and you know where you want it, texture where you want it, and uh, maybe uh, put your door or your board back to the back again. And just 
how to make sure it's, uh, you know, set there to, uh, get a little bit hard. And make sure everything is the way you want. Sign it. And if you want, I'm going to um, put this in the oven on a warm setting, on an oven-safe dish, for about a half hour. So it'll be hard enough so I can do a finish. And you can do that. But beyond that, I don't recommend, you know, putting in there for hours on end until it dries out. I would recommend let it air dry slowly. You can put a finish on it, but you, you want to let, let it air dry slowly. <clears throat> Sometimes when you put a finish on the clay doing that, you might have to go back later and touch it up. Um, so, you know, sometimes the, the paint might, you know, it might need some touch up is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes. So then uh, I'll do that and we'll come back in a while and put a finish on it. Okay, back with the fairy door. It's um, nice and dry to the touch, and um, so we're gonna do the finish. I'm gonna do a colorful finish. Uh, you probably have seen me do it before, but um, I the base coat for it is black, and I'm using uh, Benjamin Moore uh, acrylic paint, which I have used a few times, and I really like it. It goes on really well. It adheres well to the uh, clay and uh, has a really nice uh, finish. So uh, you do need to, when you're painting it on, you, you really need to look at it from all directions because, um, you know, you got to work it into all the nooks and crannies and, yeah, so... Uh, and then, what I recommend doing is uh, two coats. Uh, and just work it into all the details, the deep recesses of the flowers, back in the round and behind and all that. And then uh, we'll come back when you've done that and we'll start that beautiful finish I love to do on my sculptures. Okay, we're back, and the door is black, and ready to go, and we're going to be using Johnson's Paste Wax, available at most hardware stores, and we're also going to be using Pearl X pigments in a variety of colors. There will be a tool and supply list in the video description down below the video, down below, uh, that has all the things we'll be using today and the colors and everything else so what I like to do is get my brush into the wax once it's, I've done that I like to dab it a little bit and then I like to pick up a little color like this on my brush dab that and apply it so i'm going to put bronze this is antique bronze i'm going to put it on the door and for me i like a kind of I, I, you know definitely an antique look um and so i you know i, I just kind of put it on subdued uh, lots of black showing. Yeah, so. It's up to you, but that's what I like to do. And then in between, uh, applying, you know, the different colors, it's probably a good idea to, uh, clean your brush. So, yeah. Um, let's see. put silver on the door step on the bottle
really, really a pretty finish. Also, you know, if you guys would let me know, leave me a comment, and tell me if you like this finish. If you'd like to see me do something else, please let me know. Put me, give me a comment. You can also leave uh, questions in there. Um, and I do reply now. I try to answer all my comments. <laughs> uh, so if you think that this is, you don't like this finish and you like to see me do something else, give me some ideas about what you want and I will try to come up with something. But personally, I think this finish is just just over the top, man. It's just really quite beautiful. <laughs> I never really tire of it, you know what I mean? I love these big chunky leaves. I really do. <clears throat> oh, I have some got some vines to do too. Why don't forget those? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty soft. <laughs> you might get blue on this too. Sometimes I try to apply it with my fingers, but you know, once I got a lot of detail like this, I can't really get in there very well with my fingers. Yeah. <clears throat> really colorful. That music, by the way, is uh, <clears throat> a friend of mine. Uh, his name's uh, Alan Bruce Ray. He goes by Bruce. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he plays a Native American style flute. He doesn't, he's not Native American, but, man, he plays that thing so beautifully. Oh, boy. And so he he and I collaborate. He, he actually makes music for my videos, um, you know. I tell him what I want, what I like, and he makes it. He's a really, really nice guy. So, uh, his, uh, there's a link in the video description, a couple links for his music if you want to uh, hear more of it. 
uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's really great. He's got a YouTube channel, and he's on Bandcamp, and, uh, many places, really. Um, but he, he doesn't really, I don't know if he, he might sell some of his work, but I, I don't know if he actually, uh, has albums or anything like that, but. Yeah, he's a, he's an amazing, uh, musician. So you'll see a link in the video description for his uh, music if you want to check it out. I think I'm going to do a uh, bronze on the door, on the back of the door. And the bottom, the bottom is a little bit wet yet, so, uh, a little moist, so I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> yeah, I like to try to get, go all the way around, you know, and get all the, uh, different elements done. And then what I like to do is uh, get a little bit of wax on my finger and swirl it with my thumb and then pick up a little bit of bronze like, like that and then swirl that with my thumb and I like to go in and just highlight a few different things, you know, maybe the flowers, the blue, on the mushrooms, and it's just kind of nice, pretty little thing you can do, the edges of the leaves, you know, just to kind of highlight them like that. And then in a few minutes, we'll make it really pop, I'll show you a secret that's really cool. Now the final part of this finish is you can take a soft cloth, like a flannel, and you can just gently buff the sculpture because it's, uh, you know, paste wax, Johnson's paste wax. So it brings out this beautiful sheen, just gently rub it. And it really makes the bronze and the colors pop. I mean, it just makes it so beautiful. You really got to see it in person. You can't, you can't get it from the video, I don't think. I mean, maybe you can. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you can see the difference when I do this. I just think it's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. So that's about it, and uh, if you could, please give the video a like, share it with your friends and family, and uh, leave me a comment, and uh, you know, in the comment section, do me a favor, think of something you would like me to make, and I will try to make something, you know, people that, you know, Say things like, oh, I'd like to see a frog. I just did a frog video of this guy, Ben. Uh, says he liked my frog. So yesterday I did a frog uh, video, um, you know, because of that. You know, I was inspired. I got inspired. P uh, people making comments and things like that. That inspires me. 
So if you have an idea or something that you would like to see me make, let me know in the comment section. And I'm trying to respond to all comments now. So um, if you have a question, uh, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will reply with a detailed uh, answer. And uh, yeah, so definitely do that. And uh, again, let me know if you would like to see me do other finishes. Um, do you like these finishes that I'm doing? I really would like to input on that. Uh, personally, I love them, but, you know, if you want to see something different, tell me what you'd like to see. Don't just, don't just say you want to see something different. Give me some ideas about what you'd like to see. So, if you could, please. And, uh, yeah. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great night. Bye-bye.